So we're doing the Team Lab continuity exhibit and I will take you through each of the things. So what is Team Lab? They're an international art collective based in Tokyo that have several permanent exhibits in Tokyo, Kyushu, Macau, New York, and Shanghai, and many traveling exhibitions and experiences throughout the world. Check their website linked in the description to see if an exhibition is coming to a city near you. According to their website, Team Lab aims to explore the relationship between the self and the world and new perceptions through art. In order to understand the world around them, people separate it into independent identities with perceived boundaries between them. The way that Team Lab lab breaks down those boundaries is doing it with a huge full sensory experience with fragrances sounds and dazzling wall-to-wall -wall projections that you can touch and interact with you might be thinking that this is just a loop or a pre-recorded video but actually all the images are rendered in real time through a computer program the patterns in video that you see are constantly changing and previous states of the flowers the sounds the people will never be repeated and can never be seen again continuity is an exhibition that houses several works under the continuity umbrella. Forests of flowers and people lost, immersed, and reborn. Crows are chased, and the chasing crows are destined to be chased as well, transcending space. The way of the sea, transcending space. Colors of life. Reversible rotation, flying beyond borders, one stroke, cold light, just to name a few. All these works aren't limited to a single room or viewing space, but interact together within the larger continuity exhibition. For example, you might see crows flying through the forest of flowers and then bursting into flowers themselves, or fishes transforming into butterflies. Walking into the Team Lab space wasn't overwhelming, even though it was designed to be a spectacle of light, sound, smell, and color. There's loud music constantly playing throughout the exhibit, but it wasn't overwhelming, and the music was relaxing and atmospheric. The closest thing I can say it sounded to was spa music, and I'll give you a little snippet here. But I won't play that for the entirety of the video because uh, it's quite loud. To round out the experience, they do pump a fragrance into the room to further immerse you in their exhibit. As a fragrance sensitive person, the smell wasn't overwhelming at all. It was a light floral scent and it didn't give me the sinus pressure headache that most luscious floral perfumes do. Honestly, I wish that they sold the fragrance itself as a souvenir for the exhibition because I would like to smell it all the time. The exhibition also had a nice balance between interaction active and passive exhibits. For example, you can spend a lot of time wandering around the forest of flowers looking for interactive elements, or you could sit and watch the algorithmically generated crow flight or fish schools in the theater room. As mentioned before, the majority of the exhibit is interactive, so even though the crows and fish start off in the theater room as more of a video, they scatter and swim slash fly throughout the rest of the exhibit where you can interact with them. One of the joys of the exhibit was going in a group and independently finding out what each interactive piece did. Whether it was growing flowers flowers in empty spaces, causing the flowers to wilt, murdering swarms of butterflies, or showing the literal meaning of a Chinese character coming to life, finding the secrets hidden in the patterns allowed us to run around excitedly and then reconvene and share what we discovered with the group. Another piece that allows Team Labs to play with the idea of connectivity, not only between the person and the art itself, but between individuals viewing the art together, was the sharing rock mass transcending space piece that is projected into two different locations at once. For this exhibition, it was projected in both San Francisco and Shanghai, and the piece itself allowed visitors to interact with each other through touching the bark of a growing tree. Once an individual touches a piece of the tree, it springs to life and glows, and the glow is transmitted to the other tree. So if I touch this tree in San Francisco, the one in Shanghai would light up and vice versa. Since the projections are linked, you'll be able to see how each person in each city is interacting with the exhibit. My favorite part was actually another separate exhibit called Sketch Ocean, where you could draw a fish, whatever you wanted, and have it uploaded into a tank filled with other visitors sketched creatures. <laughs> they allowed a lot of creativity, they supplied a lot of pastels, a lot of templates that you can get started on, and what I really liked was even though I drew outside the template, outside the box, it still rendered my little shark with a top hat as accurately as possible. So it really does mean it'll take whatever you want. You can draw outside the lines and upload it to the sketch ocean. 
I really enjoyed the experience of the Teen Labs continuity and Sketch Ocean exhibits and I can't wait to go to another traveling exhibition or one of their permanent art installations in one of the cities I mentioned before. But please check out their website for more information about what they're about and what their exhibitions are. I hope that you get the opportunity to experience the insanity and the beauty of Teen Labs. But for now, if you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I don't know, you can just do whatever you want, but I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!